Hi, welcome back to another episode of Unsolicited Rambles and everything in between. And today we are going to talk about another reason for reading literature, I guess. So for the past three years on YouTube, we've talked about many perspectives on reading, many different theories on reading, many different you know, reasons why you should read more literature. But here's just another another perspective for you to consider. Have you ever passed out on your couch for like five minutes, right? You've had a long day at work or at university or at school, and sometimes all it takes is really that five minutes of passing out, and you've passed out and you woke up from your, from your nap, and all of a sudden everything, everything's their proper, in, in their proper places. And sometimes all it takes is a nap for us to snap out of that entire, you know, should I say chaotic thinking pattern. And at this point, we can all probably agree on the fact that your brain sometimes isn't your best friend. Sometimes more thinking will just drive you deeper into a rut. And sometimes all it takes is a circuit breaker. You know, should I say a circuit breaker? Maybe it's a nap. Maybe it's a, it's, it's a conversation with a friend. Maybe it's, you know, exposing yourself to something completely different. Maybe it's watching a film. You need windows of time for you to step back from your own life. You need windows of kind of like clarity, so to speak. And those windows of clarity, you can acquire that through many different means. I think one of the best means to acquire that is through reading. Because let's face it, all of us are kind of like weird, screwed up in our own very unique ways. We all have kind of like prejudices. We all have limiting beliefs. We have things that we believe that are completely stupid. And we have certain ways of acting that should be, um, that should be corrected. The danger here, however, is to consider that kind of like your biases as something that's completely that's completely true, right? You you can't break out of it because you think it's actually true. At times, all you need is one idea, one paragraph from from a book or another to completely snap you out of that entire sort of like you know loopy kind of thinking. Because the problem with the loopy kind of thinking is that you can loop yourself so deep that you can't really that you can't really get out. Now, reading good books for me, at least, it's kind of like taking a good nap. It's a device for you to break out of. Um, break out of whatever you were thinking about. It's an excuse for you to become someone else for a little bit. And if you could spare like five minutes to be someone else or think someone else's thoughts, because there's no medium out there that could do the same as books, because books could literally insert another person's thoughts in your own brain, which is kind of cool. If you could spare some moments to become another person, to kind of like consider something completely different, to circuit break your brain, um, and then you can kind of like wake up from this um, metaphorical nap to wake up from your own kind of like ball of mess up there um, if you have this little in-between period for you to really uh, gain, gain some perspective. And that's why I think fiction reading sometimes is so important because fiction uh, fiction books or fictional characters, they, they were literally designed for you to uh, escape your own reality just for a little bit uh, before you face it again with you know a pair of fresh eyes. And that's in a sense why I think reading good books is basically akin to taking a taking a five minute nap. And sometimes that's really all you need to be a better person, to be a little more articulate, to you know, to tackle the world with a fresh mind. So I would encourage you to go read something outside of your comfort zone, completely different. If you're into fiction, if you're into kind of like really heavy nerdy stuff, read something a bit lighter. If you're into lighter stuff, read something a little heavier. It's all about switching you know, perspectives. It's all about exploring something that you've not read before and then through temporarily becoming someone else, through allowing yourself the kind of freedom to get away from your own head for a bit, can you really, you know, get a clearer view or should I say a clearer perspective on your own life. So that's the end of today's episode. Leave me your comments down below. What are your thoughts on this topic? You know, why do you think human beings should read? Why do you think literature is good? And I look forward to hearing your thoughts on this subject. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one.